What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video, another vlog. Today, I'm getting a late start on the vlog, but that's all right. Today it's Saturday, I'm gonna go run some errands, I'm gonna go to the gym. It's so nice out, so I just really wanna be out and about, be productive. That's what we're gonna do. I know for a fact I wanna do some heavy barbell hip thrusts. I don't know if today will be a dedicated leg day. I kinda just wanna do a little bit of everything. That sounds nice. But anyway, it's getting hot in my car, so let's get a move on. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, happy morning, day, night, whenever you're watching this. To the post office. Hello. You can just drop these off. Thank you. This is the street that I take to get to my gym. Holy crap, wow. There was a cop just now and I had my vlog camera out. Oh my gosh. Whoa, there is like a freaking street fair happening or something. Oh, it looks like a car show. No idea how I'm gonna get to my gym, I guess. The Warriors, ooh, do we see the chaos? Please wait, take the- Please let there be parking in. All right, it's been a while since I've done a workout voiceover, so I'm gonna do that briefly. I do have a couple other workouts in this vlog, so you know, if you've been needing some gym inspo, some new workouts, I got you. I usually always have the exercises, reps, sets, all of that listed on screen. Today, I decided to hit some back and legs, and for my warm up, I just switched back and forth between eight to 10 pull ups and then 20 banded squats. Did this about three to four times, and then I got set up for some deadlifts. I'm doing sumo deadlifts today, so I have a much wider stance. I gradually made my way up to 185, which was my working weight, and did five sets of five reps here. I'll usually never go any heavier than this. I don't really have any desire to at the moment. I'm not the most comfortable with my deadlifting form, so I don't wanna lift too heavy and then possibly get injured. It's just not worth it to me. Moving on, I did a super set for the legs using the barbell. First, I'm doing 10 to 12 back squats, and I did stick to a lighter weight so I can focus on my tempo. One count down, one count up. If I'm not pushing as much, I guess, volume, then I just like to increase the reps or switch up the tempo. After my back squats, I immediately set up for front squats and then I'm doing six to eight reps of slow and controlled eccentric from my standing position to the low squat position. One, two, three, up. That's the sort of count I'm going for. Next, I'm doing some hip thrusts or are these casts glute bridges? I really don't know. I know I'm not going all the way down and resetting each rep. So yeah, it's like a shorter range of motion. So maybe it is a cast glute bridge. You guys can let me know. I did 10 reps here and then I'm going right into some bold bodyweight Bulgarian split squats. Oh my gosh. Whichever leg is in front, my weight is driving through that heel. I get a nice stretch of my hammies and glutes on this one. The superset literally makes my legs so numb pump is so real it's insane and last super set of the day I'm doing single arm dumbbell rows I feel like I do these on almost any back day just because I like the isolating of each lat focusing on one side at a time 10 on the right 10 on the left and then with the weight racked up at my chest I'm doing 12 to 15 goblet squats four sets of that that'll wrap it up back legs done we've absolutely smashed it I've clearly been watching a little too much Love Island recently Monday. I did not vlog yesterday on Sunday. It was actually Father's Day, so we just had a family day, got lunch. I took myself to get a little mani pedi, which was much needed. I always paint my toes either white or a French tip, which I've been loving, but I had this urge to paint them like a really cute chartreuse pistachio green color, and yeah, it's perfect for summer. Sorry, I can't show you. There's just creepy people on the interwebs. Yeah, I had a great rest of my weekend, but now that it's Monday, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed simply because my room is not in the state that I want it to be. I need to fold some laundry, put away some clothes. I have a meeting in like less than an hour, so gotta get prepped for that, but I need some energy. It is time for my morning coffee. Thank you to Super Coffee for partnering with me on this video. I can go some days without coffee in the morning, but the days that I do have coffee in the morning, it's just 
of the other morning. It gets me out of bed and it gets me excited to start my day. So I'm definitely a big coffee gal. My choice of coffee today is going to be one of my super coffees. These have zero grams of added sugars, 10 grams of protein, and 200 milligrams of caffeine. They come in so many yummy flavors. I have the standard mocha, caramel, vanilla flavors here, but they have this really delicious pastry variety pack. Kind of like a double whammy. You're getting your caffeine fix, but you're also getting your protein in. This is made with pea protein. It's paleo friendly, it's gluten free, and its flavors are sourced from good things like fruits, plants. I like to keep things pretty simple with my coffee and I don't really like super sugary drinks. It's nice having different coffee options at home in case I want to switch things up. So, cheers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, I feel myself just slowly coming alive right now. <laughs> you guys can actually get a free trial of Super Coffee's Tasty Pastry Variety Pack that I was talking about earlier. I'll have my link down below, but if you use that, you can get the free trial and all you have to do is pay for shipping, which is $7.99. Again, thank you to Super Coffee for partnering with me on this video and thanks for powering me through this morning because your girl needs it. Finished cleaning, we did some emails. Yes, I am in my swimsuit because I'm about to sit outside and just enjoy the warm weather. We're having a bit of a heat wave here in the city and just like in the Bay Area in general. I definitely want to get moving, get outside for a bit because I've been cooped up all morning. I'm having some oatmeal right now and I know it looks kind of gross, but I put these frozen berries in it and it turns my entire bowl purple, which is like kind of fun, but not the most appetizing looking. I might as well take this outside right now. Ow, my butt, it's hot. Literally just burned my butt cheeks. Change of plan, it's come to my attention that it's a little- <gasps> There's a bee inside! Ah! Ah! Frick. Frick. There's a bee inside my room now. How do I lure it out of here? Oh my gosh. Please fly outside. Please fly outside. It is right by the door. Oh my god. Oh my god. I done goofed. I done goofed. Oh my gosh. Oh, it went outside. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's coming back in. Frick. Okay. Now that is why we use the screen door. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. If Elvis got a hold of that bee, oh, you know what would happen. Or maybe if you've never seen what it looks like when a dog eats a bee. Yeah, we don't want that for Elvis. Anyway, change of plans. Usually I like to work out outside barefoot and it's way too hot for that. So I'm just gonna lay out for a little bit, read my book, and probably just go to the gym after this. Literally just posted up here on the deck. Went through this book so quickly in the first few days of me buying it. And since then I've had like maybe this much of the book left. It just sits by my desk. And so I pick it up every now and then and read a chapter or two. It's one of those books where like, you don't have to read it in order or read all at once. I kind of just read it when I feel I need it. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I'm not gonna stay out here for too long, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Where has the day been gone? I don't know. It's 33.42 and I just got to the gym. A sudden wave of tiredness hit me as I was driving here. So we'll see how much of my push day I can get through. I was planning this at home. I think I was being a little ambitious. So yeah, we'll see. I was this close to not coming because after laying out in the sun, I was really sweaty. And so I took a shower and I was like, oh my gosh, I could just be done with my day here and stay home, be clean, but no. No, half the battle is just getting here. And now that I'm here, I'm ready. Before I get in there, quick outfit of the day. Whitney crop tank in the wildflower purple color. She's gorgeous. Loose fit training shorts. Okay, so I've been loving starting not all my workouts, but a lot of my workouts recently with 10 to 12 minutes of steady state cardio. Sometimes that'll be an incline walk on the treadmill, but my go-to lately has been the Stairmaster. And fun fact, my first time ever trying the Stairmaster was probably only a month or so ago. And since then, I've been hooked. I just throw on a YouTube video and it just breezes by. This day, I watched a video from Natasha Ocean. In the video that I was watching specifically, she was training with an Olympian, Nevin Harrison. She's a sprint canoeist. And I didn't even know this was an Olympic sport, but 
It's basically like speed riding in a canoe. It's pretty sick. From watching this training video, it number one inspired me because it's like, damn, these girls are strong. They're athletic. I really liked some of the movements I saw that were catered to her sport. And yeah, her training just seemed very intentional. And it really got me thinking about my training style, my goals. And I briefly talked about it earlier in this video, but yeah, I just don't feel the need or pressure to be lifting the heaviest weights because, you know, I'm not a power lifter. I also don't feel the need to train purely for aesthetics. Like I'm not a bodybuilder who's prepping to get on stage. My mentality is that I just want to be well-rounded in the sense that I'm strong and I have speed, endurance. I want to be agile, flexible. I just want to move well and move athletically. This is the kind of mentality that I think will stick and work for me for, I mean, the rest of my life. I personally don't think I'm going to be pushing to squat like two plates when I'm 60 years old, you know? But anyway, this sort of mentality has just helped me maintain a more positive mindset in the gym recently. Like I've just been feeling more inspired to move in the way that my body wants to, not in the way that I think people think I should, you know? I don't know if that makes sense, but bottom line, fitness looks different on everyone. You guys know, I kind of like to just do a little bit of everything. Strength training, hit, cardio, running, volleyball, yoga, like all the things. I promise you being active is so much more fun when you strip away the pressures and rather train with passion and intention. So yeah, all of that was pretty much what was going through my head during this entire workout. A lot of times I'll just tune into my music or just not really think about anything at all. So today was different. It was a different kind of focus and it was nice to think through these things. I do get asked every now and then like, what are my fitness goals? And I think that kind of lays it out for y'all. So by now you can see I did an upper body push workout this day, mostly shoulders, chest. It was a great one. I'll let you enjoy the rest of this workout. everything that I set out to do except for a little like cardio circuit at the end I was like no no not today <laughs> I just got home and I'm gonna do a little yoga session in my room probably just a 30 minute flow something light but if you're watching this you're getting a little inside scoop I've actually been doing a little challenge for the month of June it does involve a bit of yoga so that video will be on my channel soon yeah I've been filming pretty much every day for that but yeah oh did you hear that? I just ordered myself a sweet green salad, so it should be delivered within the hour, I think. Hopefully by the time it comes, I'll be all showered and I can just enjoy the rest of my night. last one more day because tomorrow I plan on curling it so it'll hold better if it's a little bit dirty. My salad has arrived. I always get the chicken pesto bowl slash salad when I go to Sweet Green. Sweet Greens? Sweet Green. I probably should try other things but I honestly love this one. Pesto chicken. I mean can't really go wrong. Oh so refreshing. She looks so beautiful. Hello, happy Tuesday. It's not the morning though. It's already the afternoon and hopefully you can't hear my fan going because it is blasting right now. It's about a million degrees outside. High 70s, almost 80 degrees. I did my yoga outside on the deck as the sun was rising so it wasn't too hot but I still broke a sweat. I showered and then I decided to wash my car which was kind of stupid of me because now I'm sweating again. Um, I need to start getting ready now. Got my crimper plugged in. Ooh, I should probably turn this out a little bit. I have not crimped my hair since the BTS concert. Don't know how it will turn out today, but I'm starting early. It's only 12 something right now. I just want to get this done with and then it can have time to simmer down. Oh. Oh, 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 that is turning my hair. 
gray. This dry shampoo is from, is this Philosophy? Yeah, Philosophy. Pretty sure it's my mom's, but. <laughs> you okay, help it? Could just see a little bit. I'm on like day two and a half hair today. Wait, is this heat protectant or hairspray? Oh. Oh, that's hairspray. Oh no! I just sprayed hairspray all over my hair before even styling it. This is going great. Is that bad? Do not use near heat? What? I look, you look like George Washington. Oh <gasps> no! I burnt my toast! These are the last two pieces of bread. No! Made myself my late breakfast slash lunch. When in doubt, avo toasted out. Done it again. My lips are actually feeling kind of, there's like a burning sensation. I ended up putting a lot of red chili pepper flakes. I lost the raw trust, maybe that's why. Okay, we are officially on the road. Got my stuff. I got half ready and I'm gonna do my makeup later. I didn't even mention, but I'm going to an Earth, Wind and Fire slash Santana concert with my boyfriend and his family. I'm so excited because I've always wanted to see Earth, Wind and Fire. Would have been really fun to see this with my family too because I grew up listening to Earth, Wind and Fire because of my family or because of my parents. So that is what we're up to tonight. Um, the show is in Mountain View and it's gonna be freaking 90 degrees there, even at like 7 p.m. I'm actually like still on the fence if I even wanna do makeup, maybe just cover up a little bit. Most likely anything I put on will melt off my face. So we'll see. Stopped by Starbucks really quickly because I needed to pick up, well, I wanted coffee for the road. I got a double shot of espresso in a venti cup full of ice and one pump of sugar-free vanilla. I don't know if I needed that shot of flavor, but I am gonna add one of these protein shakes from Alani New. This is the Fit Shake in vanilla flavor. I already broke the seal at home. So here we go. We're just gonna pour in. I'm hoping. <gasps> ah, almost, almost. Um, how do I mix it? <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Don't want to spill in my car. Oh my god, that is delicious. I'm gonna pour the rest in there. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed for the road. I'm getting kicked out of this spot. Okay, I also picked up a bottle of sparkling water and apple fritter. Yes, I don't know why. Coffee, donut, that just sounded like a nice little roadside combo. Gotta go, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm more done up. Wednesday. I'm back home. Going to a concert on a weekday just kind of throws me off, but it was so much fun. I hate to say it, but the vibes, immaculate. Did not realize how packed it would be, but everyone was grooving and moving and boogieing. Once the sun set, Santana came on and he was phenomenal. It's definitely cool and different to see such a talented guitarist. And the fact that I got to see them both in the same night, just like a two in one, you know? But yeah, it was a really wholesome time with my boyfriend and his family. Got the goods. Scissors, chopsticks. We're having lunch outside in the backyard. Dabos are here. Oh. Hey. Hi. You look some lunch and lunch. It's almost 6 30 now. I'm gonna have my dinner. This was actually supposed to be a part of our lunch, but we were too full from the meat. So, yeah, this is. Nangmyeon, hard boiled egg to go with it. Earlier we were eating bulgogi and usually 
Korean people like to eat bulgogi with their naengmyeon. That's just like a common pairing, kind of like how they like to do chicken and beer. Or in America, we do, I guess, burger and fries. There's just no <laughs> cute way of eating that. <laughs> trunk you guys are propped up inside my car right now i am actually running on a little bit of time crunch because i have a yoga class to go to at 5 30. i wanted to quickly hit some leg did squats and then two supersets took me just under an hour and now i have 75 minutes of hot yoga which i'm so so stoked for i'm holding one single crop because i can't find my other one. Oh no oh i hope it didn't fall out or something we went with like a bt21 k-pop just I tried to color coordinate them a little bit ish. Oh, wait, hey, BT21. Luckily, the gym and the yoga studio are like less than a mile apart, so it doesn't take me long to get there. But I like to show up at least 20 minutes early so that I can get a good spot in the room and just like lay there. There's nothing more stressful than going into the yoga room five minutes before it starts and there's like no spots and then you feel really awkward because you gotta try to squeeze in between people i mean people are usually nice about it but still i like to get there early establish my spot settle into my space yeah 